In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through step-by-step -step how to get your domains from whatever domain register you're using, whether it be GoDaddy or Namecheap or Dynadot or Spaceship, and get those into Cloudflare to protect your domain, to mask it from the email service provider so people don't know where that domain was registered. If you change the name servers over to Cloudflare, this is going to be optimized for cold email. And to be honest, everybody should put all of their domains in Cloudflare for multiple reasons. Security, ease of use. The first thing I do anytime I buy a domain is get it over to Cloudflare. So let's go ahead and share my screen and walk you step-by-step -step through this process to get you from domain purchased to domain is now hosted inside of Cloudflare. Now, two things I'll mention before the step-by-step -step instructions. One is it doesn't really matter where you buy your domains. There's a lot of hype of GoDaddy's better than Namecheap, better than Spaceship. I actually used to be in that camp. What I've realized is once you put them in Cloudflare, it has no impact at all on cold email deliverability. The second thing is if you wanna buy domains in bulk, there's two good websites to do it. The one that you see on my screen is Spaceship. Spaceship allows you to, they call it beast mode, just search and acquire domains at scale, which is great for cold email. And if you are buying domains in bulk for cold email or for some other purpose, I actually built a really sophisticated anti-net automation that finds available domains purchases the domains, transfers them to Cloudflare, and sets up all the DNS records on autopilot. And we buy and set up thousands of domains every single month. I'll tell you more about this later, but let's go ahead and walk you through moving your domains over to Cloudflare. And I'm gonna make it as simple as possible if you follow along. Okay, so I'm starting from the point where I've already bought my domains. If you wanna learn how to buy domains and find domains, linked down below is another video on how to do that. But my starting point here is inside of my domain manager in Spaceship. Now, even though I'm in Spaceship, you might be buying your domains in GoDaddy or Namecheap, which I don't recommend because your renewal fees are gonna be triple what mine are. So use something like Spaceship or Dynadot and that's gonna make your life a lot easier or even just buy them inside of Cloudflare. But okay, you've bought your domain and now you need to update your name servers. So all of the domain registers are gonna work relatively the same. Let's go ahead and transfer this one over. Consulti.ai. This is a domain that I bought to potentially use for my business. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this one over. So I'm gonna open up this domain. And as you can see on the right, it's, it's giving me a few different options. You might have to click through your domain and your register to find the correct option. But what we're looking for is name servers and DNS. And what you're gonna see is your name servers are set to default. Wherever you bought your domain, you're gonna see GoDaddy or some random words or letters here. We're gonna go ahead and click change. And then you wanna click custom name servers. You're gonna be adding custom name servers to that domain. Now, if you don't already have a Cloudflare account, just go to cloudflare.com and start for free. Cloudflare is completely free. I host thousands of domains here and I have not yet paid them a single penny. It's an amazing tool that's used by some of the biggest companies on earth. All of our primary websites are hosted there. It just makes it really easy to modify your DNS records to do really custom and unique things with your websites and domains. And it's top notch for security, for masking. There's just no reason not to have your domains here. So go ahead and click start for free, sign up for an account, make sure not to pay them. The, the whole thing's free. And then once you have an account, go ahead and get logged in and you're gonna see a dashboard that looks like this. And it's not gonna have all of these domains listed, of course, these are all of the ones that I am managing inside of Cloudflare. But you're gonna see a whole bunch of complex stuff on the left. This is all the customizations you can do. Ignore all of it. And we're gonna making this as simple as possible. What you're gonna do is click onboard a domain. You can also come up to add, connect a domain in the top right if you don't see onboard a domain there. So we're gonna go ahead and click onboard a domain then it's gonna be asking us to copy and paste that domain in here. So let's go ahead and grab that domain. Remember it's consulti.ai, so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy it, paste it right in there, no www, no HTTPS, just your plain old domain, and you're gonna leave on quick scan for DNS records. You're gonna block AI training bots, you don't want them crawling your page. And then we're gonna go ahead and click continue. Now the next thing it's gonna do is it's going to prompt me to pay for a subscription or pay for their paid service. We do not need to do that. Cloudflare is completely free and there's not a single thing that you're going to need inside of those paid plans. Those are only relevant when you've got a lot of website traffic and you really wanna secure that website. For cold email, that is not going to be the case. So next it's going to review the DNS records that are currently attached to those domains. The beautiful thing about transferring that domain over to Cloudflare is all of the DNS records that are already attached 
For example, in Spaceship, if I click on name servers and DNS and I want it to come and manage my DNS, all of the DNS records that I've already put in Spaceship, I do not need to do it again in Cloudflare. It brings them over, it proxies them. So I'll show you what that looks like. These are the DNS records that it found inside of Spaceship. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue to activation. And as you can see, it says invalid name servers on the top left. It says last step, update your name servers to activate Cloudflare. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you these new name servers to include. Now important to note, every time that you click add a domain or connect a new domain, it's gonna give you new name servers. You can't just copy and paste these into all of your domains. You're gonna to need to do this one at a time, unless you have an automation like this that just sets it up for you on autopilot. But we're gonna go ahead and copy these name servers. I'm gonna take the first one. I'm gonna come back. I'm going to update these name servers to custom name servers. We're gonna paste that first one right there. Grab the second one, paste that name server right there, and we're going to save name server settings. Now, anytime you're updating name servers or DNS records, it's important to note that there's a period of propagation. Propagation is the time it takes for Cloudflare to read the updates on Spaceship and Spaceship to send the updates to Cloudflare. Usually this is just a couple minutes, but sometimes it can take hours and sometimes days. Now I only expect this to take a couple of minutes, so I'm actually going to wait. And as you can see, I'll say, I'll say continue, it's probably still not going to find the name servers. See, it has not, it has not propagated yet. Now it's gonna give me an option down here to check name servers now, but it's really only been a couple of seconds. So I, I already know that it has not propagated yet. So I can check if it's propagated here, in propagation, in propagation. So I know that it's, it's not done yet. I'm gonna have to wait for this to say successful or done before it actually registers inside of Cloudflare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video, give it a couple minutes, and I'm gonna come back and show you the final steps. All right, so that probably took five to 10 minutes. A good way to tell so you're not just sitting there staring at it is they will send you an email when it's live. It'll say, it's now active on Cloudflare. Now I just wanna see something funny come to my other notifications. These are mostly Cloudflare notifications for domains that we're hosting. You'll refresh, you'll be able to click check name servers at the bottom of Cloudflare, and then eventually you'll see that that name servers is now active, and this domain is now inside of Cloudflare, but we are not done yet. There's a couple final steps that you'll need to take that are a little bit different inside of Cloudflare. So now you'll see I'm in a different menu. The options on my left-hand side are different than they were before. We have our account dashboard that has different options on the left-hand side, and then we have a different dashboard when we're inside of that domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for that domain. It's gonna go ahead and find it for me. I'm gonna click into it. As you can see, zero traffic because I'm not sending anything there yet. And then once I click into it, I've got different options available to me on the left-hand side. Most important for you is gonna be DNS. This is where you're going to manage all of your Cloudflare DNS records. Now, when you're adding records inside of Cloudflare, and by the way, you can import them really easily, you're gonna click add record, and I'll show you kind of what records are, are standard for domains. But a couple specific points about Cloudflare, everything else works the same. You're gonna have a few more options that you'll see, but it's gonna be, exactly the same. The only thing is this proxy status. When you're adding DNS records, you're gonna turn proxy status off and do DNS only. And then for TTL, this is how long it takes for that record to propagate and how often it checks that DNS record. I like to set it at like one to two when I'm first adding those DNS records. That means it's going to read that change really quickly. And then if, if you'd like, you can come back in and make it like 10 to 15 minutes. This is, means it's gonna ping your domain a lot less. So lower TTL means it's gonna propagate faster, but it's gonna ping your domain more to check, which I haven't really seen a problem with. So we're gonna go ahead and set those to two minutes, proxy status off, and then typical, say if you're adding a TXT record, at for the root, and then the content of that record. So pretty much the same thing as you would in any other domain register or DNS host. So some of the records that you're absolutely going to need, here's one that's configured properly. You're gonna need an SPF record that looks like this. It's a TXT record. You're gonna need a DMARC record that looks like this. You're going to need a DKIM record that looks like this. And depending on where you're sending emails from, you're gonna need MX records. And you're probably also going to want 
a tracking domain, custom tracking domain. This is an instantly custom tracking domain just pointing here. Now I have another video on how to set up these DNS records. And if you're interested in that, it's going to be available for you for free on my channel. But for the purposes of this video, it's really just about moving them to Cloudflare. So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do now that you've kind of set up your domain inside of Cloudflare is to set up domain forwarding, which is gonna be a little tiny bit trickier in Cloudflare but it's gonna do it in a really safe, masked way. So email service providers can't really tell that you're doing domain forwarding and aren't gonna use it as a red flag to say that guy is cold emailing. So this is what you're going to need to set up inside of Cloudflare to get your secondary domain, the one that you just set up, to forward to your primary domain. And I'll show you what that looks like. So coming into the domain that we just configured, you're gonna come onto your left-hand menu and come into rules and then you're going to go into page rules. From here, you're gonna set up a new page rule. Now, because Cloudflare is so sophisticated, does a lot of stuff, it means there's gonna be a little bit of added complexity. So as you can tell from this page rule, you're gonna follow my instructions to set this up correctly. It's going to use this asterisk character to follow dynamic patterns. So it's gonna match the domain in multiple ways. And luckily it gives me what that should look like. So consulti.ai with the asterisk. You're then gonna come into settings and select forwarding URL. You're going to make it a permanent redirect and then for enter destination URL, this is going to be the primary domain that you want it to forward to. Now for me, I ended up going with a different domain name for this business. So I want anytime someone visits consulti.ai, they're going to go to my main domain. Now here you're going to type in the full redirect URL with all of the proper domain attributes. So HTTPS backslash backslash www dot nextwave.io and then you're going to go slash money sign one and that's going to be configured correctly so that anytime someone visits consulti it's going to securely and with a mask redirect it to nextwave.io now we're going to go ahead and save and deploy that page rule and what you're going to see is a pop-up so if you already have an a record or a cname record you're you might not see this but if you don't you're going to want to create a new proxy dns record and it really doesn't matter what you do here. Cloudflare just wants to see something on your A record or C name record. So it'll give you a little suggestion there. I'm just gonna go ahead and de-deploy that record and create the rule. All right, that page rule has been created. This is what it should look like. Now, anytime you visit consulti.ai, it should redirect to nextwave.io. And you'll see in the DNS records here, it went ahead and created that proxied A record. So all it wants to do is, is see that A record there and then the redirect will work. So let's go ahead and test it. Let's go to consulti.ai and see if it redirects the way that we want it to. Beautiful. So we had a nice clean redirect to nextwave.io. Nextwave.io is our AI automation implementation business. So if you wanted a workflow like this to purchase and set up and configure your domains in bulk, this is where you would go to get such a thing. Now I actually have a free video on exactly how this works and how to set it up. That's gonna be available on my YouTube channel if you're interested in watching it. And if you want the template to that automation, you can join our AI Automation Insiders. It's completely free inside of school. And there you'll be able to just go ahead and download all of our JSON templates. That way you can import templates like this directly into your account and start building. All right, and just like that, your domain is now accessible inside of Cloudflare. It is masked, it is safe, and you're good to start sending cold emails from that domain once you configure your DNS records. And if you're interested in learning how to do that, make sure to subscribe to the channel and watch my full seven hour masterclass on cold email, where you'll also find instructions on how to set up, check all of your DNS records. It's all gonna be available for you in that video completely free. If you found this useful, subscribe to the channel, drop a like and a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you soon.